<clears throat> How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are going to review a video uh, about Toronto and just see what people are saying and then compare them to what I know about the city. So we lived in Toronto for, I lived downtown for about 10 years on my own. If you really want people to think you're from Toronto, just drop the T <laughs> at the end and the T in the front. We don't say Toronto, we say Toronto. So C-H O R O N N O Toronto. So yeah, this video is made by uh, Noah V D E. It's called Toronto Travel Guide. It's things to do in Toronto. Toronto is Canada's largest city, full of diversity and places to explore. He seems nice. First stop on our list of adventures was Toronto's Graffiti Alley. Okay, so this Graffiti Alley thing, like, it's cool that he he brought it up. I mean, it is a thing. You know, I, I get I get why, because this alley is, like, constantly being redone. You know, the, the usual spots you want to, I guess, hit on your first day. I don't know if it would be part of my travel guide, but so far, I agree. After dinner, we ended up walking down the street to try and find a parkade. Honestly, I feel like a lot of these like travel, the, these things that he's saying things to do, it maybe partakes to like hit the audience that he has, maybe to do with photography or video. I don't know if I would classify these as like must-sees. I mean, there's a ton of stuff to do in Toronto. We're going on the edge of that thing. Oh. My gosh. <laughs> so yeah, so you're standing on the edge of the CN Tower, which is unreal. Um, it is, a, it's, a, it's a bit pricey. You're essentially put into a special jumpsuit and harness and then attached to two safety ropes. Right now I was thinking, why don't I just spew out some places that I know. So there's Kensington Market. Kensington Market is one of those places that has a lot of small little shops. Once a month, they close like all the streets down. No cars are allowed to drive. You can just walk around. It's pedestrian Sundays. Right beside that area is Chinatown. And Chinatown is amazing because like if you go to, if you have some Chinese food, uh, it's late at night, past two o'clock. You still want to have a drink, but everything's closed. You go to a China, one of those Chinese restaurants in Spadina and you ask for cold tea and they'll bring you beer. If you're going at Christmas, there's the distillery district. They do it like they all, there's actual like Christmas stuff like, and you can get little souvenirs and that happens only at Christmas. And there's one more, okay. This is amazing. There's two beaches. There's Cherry Beach you can go to if this is the summer. Cherry Beach is fun because you can get there without taking a ferry. The other one is, it's on the island. And I'm gonna show you a map. Basically you get a, you take the ferry, go across, you have to walk across this field, through this sand area, and then when you get to the nude beach, which is on the left side, you go right. If you go right and you walk all the way to the fence area, there's the airport. You get a perfect view of the city. We used to like create bonfires there. We used to watch the fireworks there. It's just like all, honestly, it's like the greatest spot. Hopefully you guys had a good time watching the vlog. Sorry it's not out and about and moving around. And if you have any questions, I will give my best advice. But yeah, you guys keep our vlog life alive. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next week for another vlog.